Hi, I'm Keith with My Powerful Home. I want to talk to you today about the necessity of inverters when you're using renewable energy from sources like this solar panel you see behind me. This is a DC generator. It converts the sun's rays to DC current. It could be a wind generator that converts wind energy to DC current, a microhydro uh, generator that converts DC uh, current uh, from the force of water. There are a lot of different kinds of renewable DC generators out there. But in order to get your household power for your vacuum cleaner, microwave, uh, appliances that you plug into a regular outlet, you have to change or invert that DC electricity to 120-240 AC electricity. And a lot of times you'll hear about 120 volts or 240 volts. And you have to have a process of inversion to get the right kind of voltage at the point of use at your outlet. Sometimes that will take an inverter like you see right here. A large inverter at the end of an, a solar array or a wind generator, micro hydro generator. And what it does is it very effectively gives you the voltage you need at the outlet by inverting the electricity from DC it could be 12 volts, 48 volts, uh, even 24 volts, to this 120, 240 volt desired AC electricity. And these are very quality uh, appliances. You can, there's a large variety out there. But I would encourage you to look for an inverter that has about a 95% power factor. So you don't have much power loss in the process of inverting the electricity. Some inverters are also charge controllers. So if you have a battery bank that you wish to charge, you can get a combination inverter charge controller. And this also will allow your system to, your generating system to drop off from the utility grid so you don't backfeed it when the power goes out and possibly injure line workers. I want to show you also a new trend in inverting electricity that is rising pretty fast and it's pretty convenient. I'm going to show you on this solar panel how that works. Let's talk about why there's a new trend towards microinverters like you see on this solar panel versus having one large inverter. A microinverter inverts the DC electricity to household power right at the solar panel. This is very convenient because it does has several functions. It uses the core uh, pigtail or cord to plug into the next solar panel and then to the next and so on. And then at the last point of connection, you'll run into your household panel, plug it right in to a breaker, and then you are feeding power into your home immediately, and it matches the frequency and type of power that you have in your home. It makes them very modular. The other thing that's very handy and convenient about microinverters is that it will report the DC power production that comes from this panel alone. So when you set up say 20 panels on a home, it will show that panel on your computer and it reports through the electrical wiring to a module that hooks up to your computer. This way you know if there is bird droppings on your solar panel or shading or something uh, that is compromising its production. It also will let you know if there's an, a problem with the chipboard or something in the inverter. You may have a um, a soldering joint that is bad in the solar panel and instead of that problem affecting the whole array it only affects this panel and this microinverter will tell you that there's a problem. When you spend that much money on a renewable energy system you want to make sure that that thing is working all the time and that you're also keeping your power company honest. Uh, there are new large inverters like this that will report on the array and they are expensive, but the problem is with sometimes with going with a large inverter like this, let's say you want to expand your array. Well, you may have to get another inverter or uh, a larger one. Sometimes, and you don't know this, some are made to daisy chain together and they can be wired in parallel. But I feel like it's a little simpler and easy for solar panel systems to have a smart microinverter like this. It also drops off the grid just like this thing does 
if there is power interruption from a storm or some other cause so that you don't injure line workers. Many people ask, well, what if I want to use my solar panel during a power outage? It gets kind of complicated, but it can be done and there are ways to overcome that. So this is really a generator and it could match the incoming power from a standby generator through a transfer switch mechanism. It could also match uh, inverted power coming from a battery bank and also feed power to your home. There are ways to do that. But in most applications, uh, microinverters or large inverters like this are used to uh, help you to store your electrical credits on the grid in, instead of in batteries. And that's about 90% of the use of solar panels, wind generators, microhydro generators. In those cases where you're off the grid, your system's going to have to be a little bit different than conventional and it'll cost a little bit more money. But of course, you have the convenience and independence of being off the grid too and not paying that bill to the utility company. Whatever you choose, just make sure that you understand microinverters versus having one large inverter for your whole array and the benefits. I hope this is helpful to you when you are choosing a renewable system that involves inverters. Thank you for your time.